Hello guys, how do you do? Welcome to your show program with Wizards TV. We'll continue with the Android development series of tutorials that we had started earlier on. This is around I think our 7th or 8th episode. We're going to see a draggable trivial, okay? This is a component right here. We're going to get it from a third party library. It's item views. We can drag them around to rearrange them. We can nest items as you can see okay so take note of our items right here for instance from whirlpool right here to mass uh, our aim is actually to drag items of course to sort okay dragging items and then of course arranging them so for instance this is how we're going to start for example we have the whirlpool right here which we know is a galaxy we're going to bring it you can see right here to the galaxy section okay we have a Neptune right here, which of course we know. We know, uh, let's come. Of course, Andromeda right here, of course, you also know, is a galaxy. We're going to bring it right here under the galaxy. We have the Milky Way, which of course you also know, is a galaxy. We're going to bring it uh, right here. Okay, so you can see, uh, you can get the point of what we're trying to do. We are galaxies, everything of course is uh, belonging right here under the galaxy. So for instance galaxy we have the Milky Way. Then from the Milky Way we have these suns, you can see this is our sun right here. Then we have the Alpha Centauri, these are the stars. Okay, so uh, Canis Majos right here we also know is a, no, this of course is a, a star. So we're going to bring it, let's just have it right in the under Andromeda. Then of course we have a uh, Neptune, which we know of course is a planet. So we're going to drag the Neptune around under the planet section under the sun. Okay, it's a planet of course rotating under our sun. Then of course we have, uh, for instance, uh, North America, which of course we know is a continent. So we're going to bring it under uh, Earth, right? Then of course we also have Asia, which of course is also a planet. Sorry. Now you can see at the point of what we're trying to do using this component right here is quite powerful. Then of course we have the city, which of course we know uh, right here is under. This is uh, New York is under North America. Okay. Then of course we have Africa right here, which of course is also under earth okay then of course uh, Nairobi right here this is a city under Africa this is what we're going to do you can see you no know, uh, you can see the point of what we're trying to do okay no actually this is under earth and of course this is under Africa right here okay so you can get the point of what we're trying to do you can see uh, you can build something quite powerful using this particular view so you can see we can nest items we can nest items uh, infinitely right here just by dragging them and dropping them of course uh, wherever you like okay so this is what we're going to see this is our first uh, course class for this particular draggable preview we're going to be using it of course also in the future so today we're going to see of course how to shoot these particular items and then of course drag them okay it's actually quite easy to use so let's jump to our code and get started so let's jump over to our source code the first thing of course go to Android Studio application name type application name we create, if we create a new project okay then of course our uh, API level come choose 16 jelly bean right here then of course come click next we're going to go with the basic activity in this our case then of course click next then of course click finish this is going to create for you of course you are project right once our project is created the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to move uh we're going to move over let's move over to our to our build okay these are our project overview you can see in the gradle scripts we have to build a gradle we have the project level right here as well as the 
of course our, our level so move over first to the project level the build project level and then of course add this repository right here Marvel url https jitpark.io right this is our repository this library we are using our trivial is going to be fetched from this particular repository so go ahead and it in our repository section then of course in the build or cradle at the up level right here okay so we're going to add right here you can see compile com dot github jackbonk uh, draggable trivial this is the library we're going to use of course it's a third party library so specify it right here okay then of course go ahead sync our project this is going to require internet connection for it to get downloaded to a project please do so then of course sync uh, for it to be added to your file so does it does our gradle a script does our gradle scripts next of course if we come to our layout we have of course if we ch you chose the basic activity it's going to generate for you two layouts activity main as well as the content main activity main right here of course this is our parent layout of course this is what we are specifying our app bar layout our toolbar as well as our floating action button then of course we including the content main then of course inside the content main this is we are going to add of course our view so in this case this is our draggable tree view it's our adapter view right here so go ahead at the draggable tree view uh, right here in the content main now assign it an id mine is m draggable tree view my width is going to match parent the height is going to wrap uh, content okay so take note of the tags right here you go ahead add it in your layout then of course we're going to move now to our class which of course is very simple this is a simple class uh this is our main activity is a, a one class project okay so of course at the first thing let me optimize my imports the first thing of course this is our main activity is going to derive from our app compact activity then of course first we're going to declare as an instance instance field right here we're going to dr declare our draggable trivial so draggable trivial draggable trivial then on create method this is where this is the method that's going to get called of course when our uh activity is getting created so first what we're going to do is simple we're going to call this dot initialize views to initialize our trivial then this dot bind data to bind data of course uh to our trivial using our, our simple tree adapter so initialize trivial this is our custom method right here what we're doing we're simply referencing our trivial right here so draggable trivial find view by id r dot id dot m draggable trivial then of course we cast it to a draggable trivial this one of course we're calling it inside the initialize views method what about the bind tree data this of course is going to bind our data initial data before of course we rearrange them okay so private void a bind tree data so tree node root equal to new tree node first of course we specify our tree node passing in the context which is this okay so that's going to give us our root node then tree node uh milky way now we have a milky way equal to new tree node then of course uh we have right here as a milky way this is the text that's going to get shown then of course andromeda new tree node andromeda so that's of course the text okay that's going to uh, get shown now of course this one's right here these are our first level nodes okay then of course tree node sun equal to new tree node a uh, sun right here then of course sun dot add child you can see how we are adding children right here to of course our root nodes sun dot add child equal to new tree node at okay so of course at jupiter saturn africa europa and as well as the universe we're going to nest them of course under the sun right here okay and then of course it's draggable so these are can rearrange then milky way dot add child sun all right so our milky way which was our galaxy right here we are signing it of course as a child the sun right here so you guys can get the point nesting values milky way dot add child neutral node alpha centauri then of course uh, milky way dot add child 
Neutrinod Proxima Centauri. These are children of course of the Milky Way, which of course is our root node, which is one of our root nodes. Okay? Of course, a sun is a child of the Milky Way, which is a galaxy. Then of course, uh, for instance, the Earth is a child of uh, the sun. Of course, Earth is a planet. So, that's it. You can go ahead, nest them, of course, in code, just the way you like. Then, of course, root dot add child neutron whirlpool through dot add child of course uh, neptune the, we are adding these two ones of course as the children of our root node which of course we are declared okay so that's it that's going to do for us uh read there then of course root dot add child andromeda then milky way we also add the those two of course as the root node of uh as the root node of our draggable trivial once you've done so then we're going to of course instantiate our initial is instantiate our adapter so simple trivial adapter adapter equal to new simple trivial adapter we pass this okay which of course is the context and then the root which of course is our tree node object our root tree node object this is going to give us our adapter then draggable trivial that set adapter then of course we pass in the adapter right there we come this dot initialize views then this dot bind tree data and that's it that's how we're going to do our stuff right here this is a simple example you can see that's all the only thing we need of course to get uh bind our data of course to a draggable tree view okay so guys go ahead and run the project we're leaving the source code below you guys go ahead download it of course import it to android studio then of course uh, run it okay Others, take care. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, leave a link, leave a comment, uh, drop your comments down below in the comment section. Also, make sure you visit our website camposha.info. That's the repository for most of the uh, tutorials later that we're doing, the code repository for our YouTube video tutorials. Okay, take care. I'll catch you in the next class.